Um, so John Calvin, you know, I'm Reformed, so he's kind of my homeboy. And um, <laughs> what was interesting is, on the one hand, the Reformers were very critical of monasteries. On the other, two things, part of that was because they just didn't want these disciplines sequestered in one place for just a select group of people. They wanted the whole city of Geneva to experience these practices. The second reason was, or the second thing that's interesting is Calvin himself entertained the possibility of what he called a lawful monasticism. That there could be vocations, yes we need butchers and bakers and candlestick makers and moms and dads, we, without question, but he could imagine a mode of vocational calling for the ch church and for the sake of the world where people could give themselves to that. Um, what, what he worried about was we can't turn that into two-tier Christianity where these are like the really serious Christians and moms and dads aren't, right? Um, I think that's a fascinating question. I, it's not one I've spent a lot of time thinking about, um, but I do feel like we are in a season of the church where more and more people are asking questions like that, which is probably a really good start. Of course, you know, there is a part of the church that does this that's called Roman Catholicism. <laughs> but you want to stay a Baptist and do that. That might be, uh, yeah. You might not be able to get there from here. Um, but can I, by the way, rec make a recommendation to folks? There's a, this is, this to me is such an interesting cultural artifact. HBO, HBO, this ain't the 700 Club. HBO made a documentary called God is the Bigger Elvis about a woman who was a starlet, starlet in the 50s who left her Hollywood stardom for, to enter a, a, a convent and has been, is now Mother Pryor and has been there forever. What I find most fascinating about it is how much the directors are clearly awed that somebody would do this. Like, like are clearly like, they're not disdainful, it's not cynical, it's not mocking, it's like, whoa. And to me, it's one of the most powerful testimonies to the gospel, and it's produced by HBO. It's so fantastic. God is the bigger Elvis. God is the bigger Elvis. That's what they said to her. You know, why would you leave this? She said, well, God is the bigger Elvis. Yeah, it's very cool.